Hello, Shen. Hello. Could you please introduce yourself <laughs> to uh, the audience? Um, Who I, are you? What do you do in your life? I'm, I'm Shen Ixua, and I'm an electrical and electronic engineering student in okay. University of Southampton. Okay. I'm now an embedded software intern. Mm. Anything else? And maybe I'm from Malaysia. Yeah, you're definitely from Malaysia, yeah. that's for sure. <laughs> How long have you been living in Malaysia? I might have uh, are you in Cambridge now. Right, so... I've been in Malaysia from the day I was born. The day I was born. Two years ago. So he's a so, fresh off the boat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> basically, my degree is a two plus two. So I did my first two years in Malaysia and then the last two years here. And after my third year, I was looking for an internship for summer. But then I got this offer for the entire year. So mm. I just take it and here I am in Cambridge. And how is the situation in Malaysia with education? In Malaysia, it's uh, basically if you take STEM subject, you are basically the going into engineering. Yeah. I mean, it's not that uh, focused on research, I would say. Okay. So basically, if you get the it's STEM more for jobs. Subject, yeah. Get a yeah, job, yeah, go into yeah, industry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's why, partially why I become an engineer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Would you say there was um, any pressure from society, from your parents mm. to become who you are? I was. I wouldn't say no. Yeah. Okay. There's definitely something but, hinder, hinder, hindering. Yeah, yeah. But my hindering. parents would, like, if I try, like, if I go and study, like, music or arts, I mean, my parents yeah. wouldn't care. Again. No? Would no. they not? Yeah, Are you I, sure? I could be an accountant. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably worse, being yeah. an accountant. You might as well go all the way and be yeah, a musician yeah. and save yeah, 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 yeah. get more money. But at least you're doing what you love. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, and when you were a kid, what made you decide that you want to become an engineer? Or maybe back then you didn't want to become an engineer, but yeah. you were really interested in something closely related to it. Tell me. Yeah, I really like maths. Okay. Since I was young. Yeah. And I guess maybe because I, from when I was young, I like to solve puzzles. Ooh, puzzles, like and actually the physical puzzles. Yeah, yeah. Them. Okay, okay, I like and that. And then, like when I was 15 or 16 years old, I borrowed a book, a calculus book. Calculus book and when I, you were how old, how old? Like, I don't know. 15? 15, 16, 17? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, and, and I can't solve it, so I got puzzled. Yeah, 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 yeah. So okay, I, okay. I, I, like the challenges okay so that's why i choose to take maths okay and also i not good at languages and humanity stuff so right or like anything memorizing things yes so yes I'm yes yes you're 16 what age do you start worrying about university in malaysia i because in the uk mm -hmm. it's like 16 oh. you get start getting poked like by the way you're doing a levels you should probably pick something i uh, yeah guess i start choosing when i after A levels, so oh. because I'm still doing all the STEM subject in A levels, okay, like physics, bio, not bio, physics, chemistry, maths, and further maths. Okay, so I can basically go into any engineering yeah. degree that one. Yeah. Probably anything in STEM. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, you picked electrical and electronic engineering, triple E, triple E, triple E, serious subject that definitely a bit biased towards it. But tell me, why did you decide to do the best degree in the world? <laughs> <laughs> um, the first thing I chose is the university which is University of Southampton yeah. in Malaysia and then they are basically only offering mechanical aeronautical or like triple E yeah. at that time I was basically just choosing between mechanical or triple E Okay. and I prefer triple E because I like I said I don't really like the memorizing things and I thought mm. like mechanics has a lot like materials and yeah, yeah, yeah. things like that that I have to do so okay and also their ranking for triple is higher okay so and what is your impression of electrical engineering because I don't actually know what it was because I did maths I did physics Same. I did computer science but you know I didn't do engineering mm -hmm. why isn't en electrical engineering just called I don't know physics with electricity <laughs> Right? Because in my <laughs> mind, that's what it was. It was just electricity physics. Mm. How did you interpret electrical engineering uh, before you entered university and then after? 
So before, I think I have the same. Same, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's basically just more electricity with physics. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. The university, I guess it's more. You see, the engineering, everything's yeah, like yeah. assumptions. That's true. Assumptions. Just true assumptions yeah. and round up numbers yeah. <laughs> and do more maths. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, it's less physics and more maths. Yeah, yeah, yeah I definitely yeah, agree. Yeah. I would say out of all the engineering subjects, I think like electric electrical has the most physics but mm. it still doesn't have anywhere as much physics as people think yeah, there is yeah. i mean it's good to understand the physics which will yeah. help your maths but it's still a maths that yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah very true if you want to i think the a level you choose if you want to do any engineering is definitely always maths and not physics because you can get away you can yeah, get away yeah. not, not knowing too much physics you finish three years yes what's the most you know, what's the module that give you the most enjoyment out of life? When you actually didn't want to want to, you know, just shoot yourself in the foot because you hate your life because you don't have a social life. Tell me. <laughs> uh, it's power electronics. Power electronics. Wow. <laughs> tell me, tell me. Because, yeah. you know, I'm going to tell you why power electronics yeah. is so dead. Yeah. And you're going to try and change my mind. Yeah. Because I was doing power electronics and I was learning, I remember, about like star and delta connections, transformers, okay. uh, that shit. Yeah. yeah. And... Instead of learning that, half my module was spent learning about uh, like mechanical stuff for some reason. Because okay. there's then because then um, DC and AC motors kicked in, yeah. and I just didn't like it. Um, and so how was your experience with that? Because most and it's most people in electrical engineering don't like power, mm -hmm. so you are an exception. So power electronics is mostly. Um, so what I like is so they teach you how to convert from AC to DC and mm. DC to AC. Yeah. And I find that really interesting. Okay. And there are a lot of maths about its control. Like okay. How are you going to control the okay. DC into the AC into a frequency that you want? Mm. So okay. that's the maths that I like. Okay. And also when you put that theory into practice, you can yeah. see the motor turning. Yeah. So you like seeing that. Yeah. See, you like yeah. seeing that motor turning. Yeah. 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 Okay. I like that. I like that. Yeah. And what about the worst one? What do you hate the most about electrical engineering? Really just gets you fed up. Mm, mm, the law and management oh I mean, so okay yeah they have some highlights but most of it is just not interesting enough yeah like, i mean maybe it's the lecturer okay yeah would you say the lecturer dictates how much interest you have in the subject would yes, you say would yeah? Say, yeah 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 and how much of it yeah. comes from you and how much comes from the energy of the lecturer yeah so there's one kid's the same subject. It's about electromagnetism. Yeah. I had it in year one and year two. Okay. So my lecturer in year one is quite good, like really good. You yeah. can see his passion, like yeah. demonstrating the yeah. physics yeah. of the electromagnetism. And so that's why I got kind of interested in that. Mm. And But in year two, the lecturer is just... He just fell off. He was a joke, man. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, to be teaching electromagnetism, you have to be... A physicist. Yeah. I think you have to be a physicist to yeah. teach electromagnetism. Yeah, you can't yeah. have no joke when yeah, engineer yeah. come jump in and try yeah. to teach you Maxwell's equations. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I do agree with you. Yeah. You decided to do an internship. Hmm. Why did you decide to do an internship when you are doing the best degree in the world, going from one of the best universities? Why the hell would you do that when you could just wait another year and then make 40,000 grand? Maybe I'm a little bit different because I'm from another country. Mm. so it is it's always, harder would you say yes to find a job after graduating so okay why is that is that because your english is not as good or maybe it's just racism <laughs> no it's just <laughs> ratio ratio okay okay yeah, yeah okay okay i guess okay yeah okay i don't know <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah i mean it, it's i mean i was planning to find a summer internship anyway so i just keep looking for jobs and apply any internships out there and mm. then just happened that cc offers a no yeah. i thought i applied for three months but then the, i think lucy told me it's a 12 month and you were so, like fuck it yellow yeah. let's go yeah calm and what do you do at cc uh i'm an embedded software engineer what does that um, mean how so does that relate to your degree it's about coding on embedded platforms which are usually microcontrollers what's a microcontroller so it's uh small chip 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 yeah okay that is usually doing some simple things okay yeah like like turning on leds okay i, I like think. that yeah yeah for example what i'm doing right now is writing python scripts mm -hmm. that runs on a linux platform <laughs> yeah 
which is also known as embedded because it's uh not a PC environment. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So okay, and that has to do with my degree because I learned like C yeah. programming in my first year. So you started off with C. Yeah, and how does that feel? How do you feel like uh programmatically superior to the rest of the programmers out there? You had to start off like peasants <laughs> with Python. I don't think there's a difference. <laughs> you, are, yeah. you don't think there's a difference? I mean. We definitely know there's a difference between C and Python. I mean, like, which one you start first, I don't think okay. it makes a huge difference. Okay. The thing is, if you know C really well, learning other languages is kind of easy. What's, what's the plan? What's the plan, Shane, with your life? What's going to happen after you finish, you know, you're about one year of uni. Are you yeah. going to go back to embedded? Do you really like embedded? Yeah, or are you yeah, going yeah. to start think, that's, that's what's going to happen? Yeah, I enjoy it coding but then also putting it on some hardware okay not just a laptop i guess okay not 100 not 100 but um <laughs> i was gonna say i was i'm just i'm yeah, trying to explore yeah. the idea like yeah. what other job roles would you maybe apply mm. for would you go into the field of ai do you think you got yeah. that or would you go AI? more hardware or more if i don't have to worry about my like living costs or anything yeah i'll go and become a mathematician mathematician yeah just solving things really think so if i yeah i don't know but why but that's so far away from electrical engineering why would you want to not that far as in i know, guess the core that i want is just solving problems but you're like don't you think you basically can never become a mathematician to become a true mathematician you need a phd in maths or is that not necessarily true i don't know i've never I really know. i think you can you can just learn it but okay when you say a mathematician do you mean like a just pure maths or would it be like an applied maths just solving those actually just problems on the whiteboard and you'd be happy to yeah. get paid for that yeah really wow that's fascinating so in a, in a sense you're doing engineering to basically get some money involved that's, that's a sad that's, that's more practical that's yeah. more practical wow yeah. maybe you should follow your heart Jim. maybe you should but, i don't know do a master's in maths is that even possible could you I do a master's possible. in maths yeah should maybe do I that friend do that or like yeah. a phd in maths or something and then become like this this hybrid engineer mathematician yeah and then discover something amazing thank you very much Jen, for your for your for your interview, I think about thank you very that. much. Yeah. You think about it, yeah. fucking hell. <laughs>